Hi honey, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today is day two of Fashion Week, which is running from Monday to Friday, where I'll be uploading back-to-back -back videos to do with fashion or clothes. Clothes being like the main center of all the videos. So these are four of my favorite hijab styles. One of them, honestly, I don't like that much. Like, I like it on other people. You know what I mean? I don't like it on me that much. I hope you guys really enjoy this and maybe learn a new style you didn't know about before or figure out how I tied this style because for some reason it confuses you guys. Like I've gotten loads of messages about like, oh, how do you tie a hijab? It's so stylish. I really like the way you tie your hijab. I'm like, girl, it's the basic. This is the basic hijab style. It's like the one everyone knows how to do. But just in case y'all didn't know how to do it, I am going to include this hijab style in this little tutorial situation. Pretty sure I'm forgetting something, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, all right. I clearly am very into voiceovers these days. First things first, you need a hijab cap or just another hijab you've tied underneath. Secondly, I always fold the front of my hijabs because I don't like the way the hemline frames my face. You just fold a little bit and it becomes a much softer like edge. One side has to be way shorter than the other and then you take the two parts parallel to your ears and you tuck those in. Then you pull it round and I want that line to meet where the halfway point of my scalp is. Then as I'm pulling the long side, I take the excess fabric and tuck it in to where my chin is. Then I bring all the fabric around my neck and I start from that top bit so I can pull in all the fabric and like just shove it in to that cheek area you just saw me tuck it in. Then I take again the excess fabric, I pull it down and I tuck it in again. That way it's very safely in place. Then the little tassel, I take the short one, I wrap it all the way around my neck so it's safely tucked in and doesn't come like flying away. Then you can also leave the long tassel right in front of you because that looks nice. But I like to throw it around and drape it over my shoulder. I just feel like that's the way that looks nicest. I'm really obsessed with the whole like shoulder draping thing. Obviously drape it all the way back if you'd like, it's a very subtle difference. But what's really important with this look is the way the fabric gathers around the places you've tucked it in and around your neck. For me that's what I like the most, so I want you guys to see it up close. So make sure these lines like look cute or whatever, you can make them more messy or less messy. It's really up to you. I like this amount of mess and like tucked in tension, whatever you want to call it. Along with my favorite hijab styles, I'm actually demonstrating with my favorite hijab materials and chiffon is literally my favorite. So next time you need both tassels to be equal length and it's honestly shameful to even do a tutorial on this because it's so easy but it's so pretty and effortless and really really useful in a hot area. So you tuck in the sides parallel to your ears and that's it, you just throw it over your shoulder. <laughs> I have nothing else to add. Just be cute and live your life, girl. You know how Salt Bay is Turkish and this is a Turkish hijab style, so I call it Turkish Bay. Moving on from my title making genius, you're gonna need a very stiff hijab. I got this one from Turkey. I genuinely don't know where you could get this style anywhere else. Fold it in half and make sure the tassels are of equal length. This is a very similar style to the one I just showed you. Um, but this one is just like more structured, I guess. You fold it parallel to your ears and you make your little peak cave situation. If you're someone who likes pins, you'd put a pin right there and right now. But if you're like me, just take it from under and the other side over and then you squish it real tight and put in a normal simple knot. I love the way the tassels fall on your back. It's so cute, so retro. I mean, it's like, oh my God, did you travel back in time and turn to Audrey Hepburn? I don't know, but you're looking real cute. Yes, queen. I'm gonna show you how to make a crown with your hijab. That's literally what I think about when I see this hijab style. I just feel like it looks like a crown or like a lion's mane or something. And it's that style I was saying, I really like it on other people. I just don't necessarily like it on myself. And you start with the basic hijab structure that I showed you guys in the beginning. So it's actually very simple. You just tuck in the short side so it's out of the way. 
Then the long bit that I just threw over, you turn it around so the edge is facing you and you just plop it over your head and it's literally like a crown. Like it looks like just hijabi queen is what I think of when I think of a hijabi queen. Just on me personally, I feel like it makes me look like a nun or something. So I don't really like doing it, but I really love it on other people, especially my mom. Your hijab style is really so much part of your identity. And this hijab style for me is so near and dear to my heart. Because it's the first style I ever picked when I started wearing hijab. And it's just a style I've stuck with and I felt so comfortable with it. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all of those good things. I will see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. Bye.